right let us come back and do the seventh question right hope the concept is clear i am doing it very slowly right so question number 7 what did he give us an organic compound with molecular formula c9h10o forms 24 dnp derivative right reduces tolens reagent one more clue and undergoes canizaros reaction done on vigorous oxidation it gives me benzene 12 dicarboxylic acid okay identify the compound they have given me benzene 12 dicarboxylic acid so basically whenever something is given i told you write the summary of facts they said an organic compound with molecular formula c9h10o let us write c9h10o right h10o right this forms 24 forms 24 dnp derivative okay and reduces tolens reagent and undergoes canizaro reaction so basically c9h10o what is the formula how does it uh, uh, how can i analyze whether it is aldehyde ketone they said it forms 24 dnp derivative what forms 24 dnp derivative basically aldehydes which reduces tolens reagent aldehydes and which undergoes canizaros reaction compulsory it is an aldehyde so let us write the aldehyde which is there so from this formula separate out the aldehyde so cho first let me take cho and what how many are left one carbon is over already we still have seven carbons yes or no but whether should uh, i write the straight chain or the aromatic thing how will i know they have given here one more clue on vigorous oxidation it gives benzene 1 to get dicarboxylic acid they said that means already there is benzene in the given product that means the reactant also should have benzene correct so this is your now c6h5cho still it we need how many six are there 7 8 9 that means there is an alkyl group here but what is alkyl group total should be 9 6 7 8 9 two two carbons how many hydrogens are over c6 h5 6 7 8 nine means it should be basically c to h5 then let us count 5 4 5 plus 1 4 here 9 9 plus 1 10 so this is a so c5 h10 o this is a compound now this said now see here there is an aldehyde which undergoes a complex with 24 derivative done it reduces tolens reagent done it undergoes canizaros reaction done this said this on vigorous oxidation vigorous oxidation what does it do it forms benzene 1 to dicarboxylic acid same compound very easy way it forms benzene 1 to dicarboxylic acid over now identify the compound so let us recall again once again this say this compound it indicates aldehyde because it is we have seen these three conditions it forms 24 dnp aldehydes form 24 dnp derivative it reduces tolens reagent it undergoes canizaro reaction that's why and they also have given me positions 1 2 means they said 1 to dicarboxylic acid that's why i picked up 1 and 2 the formula i have written this and finally i have written the product remember that alkyl group whatever is present on the benzene ring this alkyl group always it is oxidized to coh whatever may be the length of this particular alkyl group let the alkyl group be c3 c4 whatever it is it will get compulsory it gets oxidized to coh because aldehydes on oxidation Al aldehydes and oxidation gives acids but this also irrespective of the length i am writing that irrespective of the length of alkyl group what does it get it gets oxidized to coh whatever is the length so this is how you are going to solve i'll meet you again with the eighth question now let us come back and start off solving the eighth question right 
now let's read the question I, I told you as soon as the paragraph based question is given to you you need to write the summary of facts then only you will understand what to do <coughs> what are the things because everything will be clear so summary of facts right what do they give me they said an organic compound a having the molecular having the formula c3h8o molecular formula c3h8o by re on uh, c3h8o on treatment with copper at 573 kelvin gives b then they said b does not reduce filling solution but gives an low ppt of compound c with i2 and noh Okay, that means an iodoform reaction. I2 and NOH is iodoform reaction, which will show iodoform reaction basically methyl ketones only of the compound C. Okay, deduce the structures of ABC. Done. First of all, I have to write the summary of facts. What did they give me? They said C3H8O, which is A. This was treated with copper, which, which temperature 573 Kelvin. What does it do? Copper basically it oxidation. What did it give? It has given a compound B. Did they give us the formula of B? They had nothing. But they said B on treatment it does not reduce filling solution but gives an LO PPT with C with with I2 so iodoform reaction NaOH it has given a compound what is this this is an iodoform reaction so it forms compound C correct which is an LO PPT the set now start analyzing the question I know I have written the summary of facts I have to analyze the question now see how to analyze the question they said Compound B does not reduce filling solution but gives an LO PPT of C with iodoform that is I2 and NaOH iodoform reaction. That means compulsory compound B should have a methyl ketone. Compulsory should have a methyl ketone. So this formula is given write first methyl ketone and C. I am writing compound C methyl ketone C double bond O this is C methyl ketone. Now in this formula already to C3 H8O how many are over here 2 are over correct 2 are over so how many are left 2 carbons means there is only 1 carbon here C3 H8 see here 1 2 3 H8 means C3 are over C3 plus 3 6 but this is B we said this is a methyl ketone because it forms an it undergoes further iodoform reaction. No, go back. This was treated with copper 573 Kelvin oxidation, which on oxidation gives uh, ketones very well known. Primary alcohols on oxidation gives aldehydes, secondary alcohols on oxidation gives ketones. Come back. What is the formula they've given? A formula they've given is C3H8O. So, secondary alcohol because secondary alcohols only give ketones. Now, write the secondary alcohol with the same number of carbon atoms C3, CH, CH3, OH. Secondary alcohol. Now, this compound was treated with iodine and sodium hydroxide. So, what is this? This is an iodoform reaction. What has it given? It has given me an LOPPT. Right? Now basically uh, this copper, what is it uh, doing? It is reduced. Basically this, this is not an oxidation process. This is a reduced process. Copper will reduce, isn't it? The reaction is reduced by copper. But secondary alcohol. So this should be what? Not oxidation. This should be reduced. Sorry students. Reduction or reduc reduction. Right. Now this compound, whatever is there, it undergoes or it forms an LO PPT. What is LO PPT due to? It is due to the formation of iodoform CHI3. This is iodoform. What is the compound? This is an LO PPT. LO PPT. What is this? This is compound C. And along with this, the leftover, this comes as CHI3 and the leftover comes as sodium salt of carboxylic acid. Isn't it? Now, this is how you have analyzed. So, you will be writing compound A is C3H8O 
कंपाउंड बी इज मिथाइल कीटोन सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ सी एच थ्री कंपाउंड सी इज आइडो फॉर्म विच फॉर्म्स एन एलो पी पी टी राइट सो हाउ डिड आई गेट दिस लेट एस री एनालाइज द क्वेश्चन आई टुक वन क्लू आई रिटर्न द समरी ऑफ चार्ट आई टुक वन क्लू दिस इज आई आइडो फॉर्म रिएक्शन मीन्स इच बी मिथाइल कीटोन वे वेरी वेल नो कॉपर इट हेल्प्स इन रिडक्शन सो विच वन सेकेंडरी एल्कोहल्स ऑन रिडक्शन करेक्ट gives me ketones that's done so i uh, with this clue i've completed the eighth question let me come back and do the ninth question so let's come back and start off with the ninth question students let's see this what do they what do they give us <clears throat> as i told you whenever paragraph based question is given to you try to write summary of facts right so what do they give me an organic compound a which has characteristic odor on treatment with sodium hydroxide forms com two compounds b and c okay there is a compound a organic compound a itself when it was treated with uh, a compound it characteristic it was treated with sodium hydroxide it has given me two what was that compound b and compound c the compound b has a molecular formula c7h8o so this it it has c7h8o is a molecular formula which an oxidation with cro3 an oxidizing agent what it happened it has gives back compound a so this was uh, allowed to undergo oxidation with cro3 there is an oxidizing agent oxidation it has given compound a back then they said uh, compound c is a sodium salt of acid they say compound c is what it is a sodium salt of acid salt of acid this when heated with soda lime c was heated with what soda lime soda lime it was heated heat yields an aromatic compound d it has given d it is an aromatic compound so one more clue is given to me aromatic hydrocarbon okay aromatic hydrocarbon so i have to deduce a b c d and e c d then right so let me start off how to write the formula first of all i have to uh, see whether there is any clue given to me this said an organic compound a no formula i can't do, do it compound b there is one formula and they said c is sodium salt here this is a formula here i can start off so the compound b is formed by reaction with a reaction of a with sodium hydroxide so sodium hydroxide means uh, when we say concentrated solution of that basically concentrated solution of um, an alkali means a base sodium hydroxide solution where we use it we use it in canizaros reaction Canizaros reaction. What does it form? It, it forms both and so sodium salt. Means salt of that a particular acid and an alcohol. In Canizaros, what will happen? Basically, there is a disproportionation reaction. Same compound undergoes <coughs> oxidation, and one more forms sodium salt of that. Yes or no? Yes. That is one clue which I have got. So, what is A now? A is aldehyde. and one more thing this particular a is an aldehyde which one what is that which doesn't have alpha hydrogen that is the most important canizaros reaction is shown by aldehyde which does not have alpha hydrogen right fine so a little bit clue i have got here one more thing is they said reaction c it treated with soda lime they said and gives me aromatic hydrocarbon So aromatic hydrocarbon means C should be sodium salt of carboxylic acid means basically I told you in Canizaros reaction one will be your sodium salt of carboxylic acid and one more will be an alcohol yes or no because this doesn't have alpha hydrogen yes understood students now C also we said it is treated with soda lime that is sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide it is an aromatic hydrocarbon. the set that means a benzene ring let us start off now analysis is over i have to start this said compound b the formula is c7h8o this is the formula which they have given me i told you along with this this is also formed one more compound that is sodium salt of acid 
right so now basically i told you when where do we get we have got it from sodium hydroxide what is the formula c7 that means compulsory there is a presence of a benzene ring here also there is a presence of benzene ring but one was sodium salt of carboxylic acid which is compound c and here c7 h8o in canisterous reaction with uh, one will be alcohol and one will be sodium salt how did i write this see here c6 h5 now this is 6 this plus 7 h5 is here 5 and this 6 7 8 over now what should be this compound compulsory we know canisterous reaction is shown by aldehydes which doesn't have alpha hydrogen so benzaldehyde is and listen so benzaldehyde does not have alpha hydrogen isn't it there is no because aldehyde is directly linked if there is one more group CH2 then it is alpha hydrogen adjacent to CHO so benzaldehyde is a compound so benzaldehyde this is your canisterous reaction where it forms an alcohol and sodium salt corresponding sodium salt of that now see what was it do, done it was treated with soda lime NaOHCO and it has formed an aromatic acid aromatic hydrocarbon so what does it do Na2CO3 is out isn't it minus Na2CO3 comes out what is left you are left with aromatic hydrocarbon aromatic hydrocarbon they said B is treated with CrO3 what is this oxidizing agent it will help in undergoing oxidation now let us see whether this is right we very well know alcohols on oxidation gives aldehydes so this is right isn't it alcohols on oxidation gives aldehydes this also proves so always remember students simple whenever a question is given to you try to make summary of facts and then finally try to analyze pick one clue and start doing it so let's meet again with the 10th question